this is Renee here and I'm going live in two different platforms. So I'm going live on my Instagram account and I'm going live in my YouTube channel. So bear with me if there's uh, something here in the technology that is not working as I'm learning on the go. And, and yes, let me know if you can hear me okay and let me know if you can see me okay. But today I'm here to share with you something that it is very important for me and I've been doing this for quite a while and I think also it's very important for me to share with somebody else and there are a few steps that I take to close the year and the way that I do it is to bring in together this um, reflection, this reviewing and also this releasing you know when i connect a lot with the moon energy as you might know and i share that a lot and in the last full moon of the year that it was a few days ago i did the yoga practice a live yoga practice to release what is no longer working for you but today i want to give it to you i want to share with you sorry four easy steps that you can do that you can practice at home at any time but the best time to do it is now, is the end of the year, the end of 2023. And I'm going to be straight to the point. I'm going to go straight to the point, okay? So the first one, I'm sorry, feel free to get the pen and paper and write it down and see if it's going to work for you when you do it. The first one that we're going to do, or the first one that I do, is to set up an intention. The same way that I do it when I teach my classes, my yoga classes, and the same way that probably you do when you take classes, you know, set an intention for this practice. Like, why do you want to do it? And set an intentional space and an intentional time to do it. Meaning that set up a time in your calendar where you're not gonna get any interruptions, where you're just gonna dedicate this time to do this practice and set a space to do it where, again, nobody's going to distract you. So you can turn your notifications off, you can set up maybe nice music, candles, incense, um, get a tea or a glass of wine, anything that will help you to connect with you and with your intentions of why do you want to do this and how this is going to help you. The second one that is very important and it is to reflect and review about what work during this year. Yes, you heard me right. What did it work? Where were your wins? What are the things that you did achieve? And maybe it was Get going to the class that you always wanted to do. Maybe it was to do that, to start doing that routine that you wanted to do. Maybe waking up earlier, uh, walking, doing a little bit of stretching, uh, eating healthier, anything. Anything that help you to be better. And it doesn't matter how big or how small it was because everything matters. When we get into this point, what I would like you to be aware is that please also reflect about what are the steps that you took in order to get these achievements. So what are the things that did work for you? What are the things that did uh, bring the results? Because then you can repeat that again in, in something different. Uh, or maybe you can modify it and make it better. And also because we tend to, do, to move forward all the time, you know, to go forward, to achieve, 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 and look always for the next step without stopping, making a pause, reflecting, and appreciating your wins. This is also like a very healthy message for your brain going into neuroscience because all the positive, positive thoughts and positive intentions will attract more of it. You know how the bad ones or the negativity will bring you down, the positive will bring you up. And it's extremely important 
um, especially if you're a doer, yeah, you want to do, 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 achieve, 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 keep going. Well, this is a time to reflect, write it down, um, maybe do it with colors, maybe do a drawing and celebrate, celebrate your wins, celebrate your achievements. Doesn't matter how big or how more small they were. That is very important. Now getting into the third, sorry, I'm checking my notes, that's why. Getting into the third uh, step. Now we get into like the dark area because now I need you to reflect about what didn't work. And this is very important as well because sometimes we realize that something didn't work. We tend to blame ourselves, maybe, I'm just saying maybe, or we tend to see all the bad about it without stopping to check why this didn't work. What were the steps? What were the decisions that you took? How do you do it that it didn't work? Because this is going to help you to see how you can make it better, how you can make that shift, that change. And maybe going back to the things that did go well, maybe let's say as an example, you set up yourself like waking up every morning and stretch every day or do exercise every day or eat healthier every day and that wasn't achievable maybe you did you ended up doing it two or three times a week maybe you ended up doing it two or three times a month but don't look at it as something negative look at it as something that okay maybe my expectations were way too high for the reality of my day-to-day -day life and to be more realistic i need to bring it down to two or three times per week. And once you achieve that, then you can increase it. So I would like to give also the example of like a handstand hold. Most of the time when I teach that, and even when I was younger and I was practicing, it was getting started into the practice of my handstands, you know, you wanna get it right away. Yeah, you wanna, you want that to happen like in the third class. And you don't realize that that is something that it takes a lot of time, a lot of practice. And instead of getting into high expectation and expecting to be holding your hands down for a minute in five days, maybe you start lowering your expectations to something more achievable like, okay, I'm holding it for two seconds and that felt amazing, but I'm going to keep practicing and my next goal is going to be three seconds and once you get that then it's going to be four seconds and then you can start increasing the level of what your expectations are going to be but they're always is going they're going to be in a way they are achievable and manageable and that will give a positive input into your brain in the sense of getting somewhere and when you had that feeling when you had that craving you don't see the bad of it. You see that, okay, I got this done and I can do, but I know that I can do better. Yeah. So this is the way that I would like you to see what are the things that didn't work or you didn't achieve and how you can change it, how you can make that twist. Maybe you need to take a different class. Maybe you need to set up a different time for your practice. Maybe you need to get a partner, a friend that want to practice with you to keep yourself motivated with that person. Maybe you need to put an alarm in your phone, whatever it is. Again, there is nothing that is going to be too crazy. So use this time to write it down and then you're going to start being more realistic and say, okay, what is going to work actually here? Okay, so, so far we have first one, set that intention, intentional space intention of why do you want to practice this and intentional time for the practice of this review reflection and release ritual the second step is reflect and review about your wins by the good stuff that you got done the third one is going to be about what it didn't work and why it didn't work and the fourth one is going to be about releasing what do I mean by saying this? A lot of time, and I'm talking for myself as well, 
I think way too much about why something didn't work. And that could be positive and negative. It gave me a lot of input, a lot of information about how I can do things better. Yes, that's, that's real, that happened and that helped me. But at the same time, it's like it is very hard to let go of those things and it just stay right in the back of your head. And it's like almost like you're punishing yourself, like why I didn't do this the way that it's supposed to be. And then you start seeing everything very negative. So again, we're trying to release this negativity, the one that it doesn't help, okay? Because I'm also, I'm also very, very aware that staying yourself very positive the whole time is not realistic. So bring it back to what it is realistic for you, what you can do right here, right now. In the releasing part, I do a yoga practice. I use a lot of breathing exercises in order to release from the physical body any uncomfortable sensations. And it can be feeling guilty, feeling anxiety, um, feeling, yeah, that you didn't do things right or as perfect as they should be. Or it could be like hanging out with, with persons that are not really bringing anything to uplift you as a human being and we use I uh, use as I say I use a yoga practice and you can find that in my youtube channel I have a yoga practice that we did last week and also another ones that I've done in another years and I use the full moon energy to do this practice of the releasing but if you don't want to do the physical part then just write it down in a paper and then you burn it Yes, you heard me, you burn it. Why is this? This is like a symbolic way of taking it off your body, off your life, and let it go. Because it's not working for you anymore. It's not working for you to keep holding in on that feeling, on that, that sensation. Sometimes we stay there because that's what we know as comfortable. That is what your brain knows as being comfortable. And we need to break those patterns. For example, something that I used to do and happy that I, I've been able to change it, but from time to time it keeps chasing me, is like I like to wake up early to do my practice, my meditation, my breathings before starting my day, before getting into the phone, before answering emails, before planning classes for my students or editing music for, for a performance or for these videos. And sometimes I'm tired and I don't wake up as early, as early as I would like to. In my head, I always punish myself for not doing that. In my head and in my heart, it's like, you should know better. You should have wake up earlier. You should have done this and have done that. But reality is like, I'm a human being like everybody else. And I make mistakes as well. Like this one that I'm telling you. So every time those thoughts show up in my head, those negative talks, I try to just shut them down, take a deep breathing in, exhale all out, and tell myself, it's okay. You were tired last night. If you have five, 10, 15 minutes, still do some of your practice. It's not going to be the two hours that you would like to, but do some. Sit in stillness, breathe, write it down. I tend to write down a lot of my journal to let go whatever is not working inside here. And move on. That's what it is. Don't stay with it. So that is what it is about releasing. So that's all for today. That is what I wanted to share with you and I hope this helped you. And please let me know in the comments if it is helpful, if you are going to practice and if you are ready for more. I am going to do a New Year New Intentions workshop and this is going to happen on January 12th. This is going to be a live workshop and it has a cost. At the moment I have a discount, so we, it has a $5 discount and it's $28 US dollars for two hours of 
yoga, breathing, meditation, and a guidance that I'm going to give you into how to set up your intentions, new intentions, and create a realistic and authentic roadmap to make it happen. So if you would like to do that, let me know, share it in the comments, send me an, a DM, send me a message, but I'm going to be sharing the link in my social medias. And if you still feel that you need to release a little bit more and you want to do my yoga practice, I do have that as well in the YouTube channel. I have the releasing yoga practice, meditation and pranayama and on the social medias like in Instagram and Facebook, I'm going to share the link for that. It's absolutely free. All my classes in YouTube are free. And if you're here in YouTube, in the YouTube channel, uh, you're going to find it as one of the first videos in the channel. I hope this helped you and I wish you a very happy ending of the year, a very happy releasing and I'll see you next time.